We very seldom see absolutely hopeless cases. We can always do something. We uh, decided this was an important area for us at the University of Nebraska to focus on. And with that in mind, we've set together over the last uh, almost 40 years to put together a comprehensive liver center that uh, focuses on the needs of our patients, not only locally and regionally, but nationally, uh, to, uh, to diagnose and treat and put together in a comprehensive way the approach to liver disease, encompassing uh, internist, hepatologist, pediatrician, surgeons, radiologist. Uh, this is a multi-specialty disease in large issues uh, in many ways, uh, but uh, it really starts with a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the patient. It comes down to how easy can we make it for patients to come here uh, to be evaluated and in some instances treated for liver disease and then go back to their community, to their physician, to their family, feeling that uh, they've had the best and have been around the best. And the university has, uh, and, the, and the medical center and the hospital have put together a plan over the last, particularly in the last 10 to 15 years, that has made this much easier. For example, uh, this is a big uh, medical center with lots of buildings and, and, and has, been grown, has grown a bit like Topsy over the last uh, 50 years. So we've made it easy. We have uh, detailed maps that tell people how to get here, where to be in our clinics. Uh, we have the LEAD Transplant Center, which is not just for transplantation, but where people can say, stay immediately connected to the medical center. They don't have to drive around town looking for places to eat, places to stay. Uh, it makes it easier. They're having tests since many of them start early in the morning. And this has made it very easy. We have one of the very first liver transplant programs in the United States. Uh, our first liver transplant was done, uh, performed here July 18, 1985, and now we've done well over 26, 2700 liver transplants. Uh, we were the second or third program in the, in the United States, and it has been uh, one of our uh, uh, it's been it's been one of our pride uh, possessions, if you will. Uh, this this is one of the things that has helped transform our medical center into a major medical center in in the United States. Liver disease is more than transplantation, and the vast majority of patients that I see have end up having relatively simple problems that require a matter of, di uh, of a careful history and physical and some uh, uh, very carefully chosen liver tests and imaging studies, uh, maybe consulting with some other physicians, uh, but and then, they, then they can go back and be cared for easily at home. As you all read in the papers, there's an epidemic of obesity. Uh, perhaps 24% of the population in Nebraska is overweight. Uh, this is true for the nation as well. Uh, so we see lots of patients who have fatty liver. Now, most fatty livers can be well controlled with diet, exercise, but uh, and never progress. But maybe 10 to 15% of patients can develop serious fatty liver uh, what we call fatty hepatitis, and they can end up with cirrhosis even. This is a ma major area of concern for us. Well, the most common thing they'll say to me is, well, doctor, I've never had a drink in my life, or my mother has never taken a drink. And the point is, the vast majority of the cases of, uh, of liver injury is not from alcohol. But if it is due to alcohol, then we have a coordinated effort to fix this and to help these patients, including uh, uh, psychosocial uh, reaction. We have a wonderful psychiatric team that helps us in this problem of alcoholism. But again, uh, this is not as uh, near the cause for, alcohol, for liver disease that people think it is. 
viral hepatitis. There's a, been an epidemic of hepatitis, particularly due to hepatitis C. We have special clinics for the treatment of hepatitis C, uh, and we get any number of referrals uh, for uh, hepatitis C that require treatment, and many of them don't require treatment. The liver cancer is one of the uh, top 10 causes of death from, uh, uh, in, in the United States and in higher in, uh, cause of death in places like China and, and Africa. Uh, we, uh, we have, because we feel that this is a disease that requires special attention, that is liver cancer, and towards this end uh, we have uh, developed a, a major program in liver cancer ranging from uh, oncology to, from, I'm sorry, from diagnosis to treatment by various aspects, either liver resections, uh, liver transplantation, radiologic approaches, interventional radiologic approaches, and of course uh, chemotherapy. Uh, because we feel this is such a uh, a major opportunity uh, for us to advance uh, the treatment of liver cancer. We have uh, put together a multi-specialty conference that meets every uh, Wednesday headed by Dr. Faja Rosling uh, in the department of, in the section of gastroenterology and liver disease where we review anywhere from 10 to 12 new cases a week. Uh, in this conference, uh, we put together all the best minds here that deal in interventional radiology, diagnostic body imaging, uh, uh, endoscopic therapy, hepatologists, transplant surgeons, uh, oncologists, uh, radiotherapist uh, and this group meets and discusses every case, looks at all the films, looks at all the uh, the laboratory values and then together comes to what our, we think is our best estimate is how these patients should be treated. This is a marvelous advance and takes advantage of, of not only uh, accelerating the process of evaluation but uh, at, at the same time gives everybody uh, the most uh, uh, time efficient way to discuss all of these problems. We're, we're very proud of, of, of this approach. Liver disease isn't just the liver, it's the bile ducts that lead up to the liver, the pancreas that, that uh, connects with the liver in many intimate ways, uh, and uh, we include this as, as our mission, particularly the biliary tract system uh, where you see problems with strictures from failed operations, uh, from rare diseases that cause uh, primary diseases, the bile ducts. All of these things are readily seen and relatively easily diagnosed with the modern imaging and endoscopic techniques available here. Uh, we do this in conjunction with our referring physicians uh, that uh, so that things that can be done elsewhere, uh, we do this. We're not in competition with, with everybody else, but we're, we view ourselves as a, as a resource uh, for, the, for the state, the region, and nationally. And, and we're very proud, I think immensely proud, of the contributions we, ha we have made and are making in the understanding and, and uh, the diagnosis and treatment of liver disease. Research is the cornerstone of advancement in any condition. We have very active research programs at, at the University of Nebraska and the Medical Center, uh, not only in viral hepatitis, but alcoholic liver disease and fatty liver in the various uh, aspects of liver transplantation, among uh, uh, other, other, other uh, specialties that intersect with us. We rarely see people where there's no hope, where often no hope means no information. Uh, and they have been so scared of finding out they have liver disease, they avoid seeing doctors, they think things are hopeless. They may have been talked to by a neighbor or someone else that said, well, that's it, uh, you've got uh, bad liver disease. When in fact, we very s seldom see absolutely hopeless cases. We can always do something.